Hey honeys, Justina here. I'm hoping everybody's having a great day or night whenever you're viewing this. And honeys, welcome back to another great mukbang. So today we started off, well, I worked all day. Um, but after that, I said, I gotta do a mukbang. So here I am, honeys. I'm doing the mukbang. I'm delivering for you guys. But today, honey, we're starting off where I started off my first mukbang at. Good old Captain D's. Captain to the damn D, honey. Oh, yeah. So, let's open the straw. I haven't even took a sip out of my drink yet. So, here we go. Tea tastes funny. But, okay, I'll drink it. It's sweet. I don't know if it's sweet as me, but it's sweet. Okay. So, oh, damn, this plate's heavy as shit. Oh, girl. Damn. I feel like I'm about to drop the whole thing. Okay. All right. So, oh, I'm showing it off before anything else. Let's put that shit right here. All right. So, so, Captain D's got this crunchy fish. This crunchy fish tender, kind of like, I don't, I don't want to say it's kind of like Arby's, but it's like the same thing, basically. Okay. So, we got the good old hush puppies. We got the little bitty little shrimp right here. Look at them. Look at that baby. We got a crab cake right here. Got that. We got the fish. Oh, God. It's, well, it's all dipped in mac and cheese right now. Then we got a loaded baked potato and macaroni and cheese. Mmm. Oh, my God. I love shrimp. When I say I love shrimp, I freaking love it. I had it last night for dinner at Cheddar's. I get the beer batter shrimp. Oh, my goodness. So freaking good. Mmm. Okay. That's really good. It hit the spot. So, never had one of these before. Well, I had the regular fish. It looks like they should have gave you the regular fish as well, but they didn't. So, that's the Jumbo Crunchy Fish Tender. Let's try it out. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all hear that crunch? That crunch is where it's at. Okay. Mmm. I normally don't like the fish. I know it's a big shocker. It, I guess it's the way it's battered, but I love this. Mmm. Um, that's really good. That is really good, honeys. Um, but what, but yeah, what have I been up to? I haven't been up to nothing. I went to, um, I went to Mason's Memorial. I don't know if I already told you guys that. But it was, but the service was great. Um, they had a lot of people there. And it was just amazing to see, you know, how many people can be brought together to celebrate a loved one's life. It was, it was, it was great. Um, what else have I done? We went, me and Denise went to see the Swinging Medallions at the Foundry in Athens. That was fun. God, we danced our asses off that night. And they played the 60s and 70s, plus they played their original song. Oh my goodness, so much fun. And, honeys, let me tell you, I had a drink. It was called the Georgia Peach or Peach something. Let me just say, that drink <laughs> knew where in the hell the spots was going. God, God, it was so good. Had me drunk on the first drink. Mmm. 
I normally don't like their macaroni and cheese, but damn, it's good. I guess everything's good after you get off work. I gotta try this again. Mmm. I want to dip it in macaroni and cheese again. I know it's kind of weird, but God, it's so good. Mmm. Especially the cheese sauce and the macaroni. Oh, you get two crab cakes. I didn't know that. Mmm. Hush puppies. Two big balls. Mmm. Love it. That's really delicious. Hmm. But what? Have, but what have you guys been up to? I guess I'm got to get used to that sweet tea. Um. What else? And then I went. We went to Takaria Tsunami. Went there, what, two days ago. If you guys have never been to Takaria Tsunami, you gotta go. I don't know if it's a Georgia thing or if it's a national thing. But, honeys, take your asses to um, Takaria Tsunami. They got good. Their nachos are really good. Their, um, what else? Avocado rolls. Their tacos. Mm. So good. Mm -hmm. But yeah, honey, so we got some questions. I'm going to do some questions today. Plus, I have another uh, 4K review that I want to review. Because, oh my goodness, the quality is so freaking amazing. Okay. Ooh, we're about to get to the butterfly shrimp. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, at first I didn't think this was going to be worth the money, but it's worth it. Mmm, look at these shrimps. So you get many, and then you get the butterfly shrimp. Hell, I think it's a butterfly. When it starts flying, I better watch out for it. Mmm. Okay. I want to show this off for you guys. Damn, that's a flatbed shrimp. Flatbed. A flatbread shrimp. Look at that. This shrimp, this shrimp ain't driving no truck. Mm. Okay. I got to put this food down. Okay. After I tear this baked potato. All right, honeys. Let's let's dig into it. Mmm. I love it when the bacon bits and the she and the cheese and the cheese melts. Oh god, it's so good. Okay. Oh damn, it's just sliding everywhere. It's just not sliding in my mouth. That's the only thing it's not doing. But honeys. We got a meet and greet coming up. So I just got confirmed today. Uh, where I wanted to um, have this meet and greet is 100% going to book it. That I'm going to book it. So, it's going to be 
December the 9th is Saturday from, um, I'm going to give details in a further, but a further statement down the road. Check out my Facebook and my Instagram for more details coming next week. Um, so go follow it down in the description box below where you can get the deets. But yeah, we're having the meet and greet December the 9th in Atlanta, Georgia. <clears throat> and yeah, it's going to be a, it's going to be a night show. So, and, um, I'll tell you guys how you can get tickets and stuff for that as well. Man, this. Because I want to do like a Christmas theme show. Slash meeting freak. Like you guys want the TikTok to do the, you know, where we can do TikToks together. Take selfies. All that kind of fun stuff. And you guys can ask me questions. Plus, I also have some comedians that's coming apart. Um, her name is Whitney. And then Amber. Very um, two close friends of mine. I just love them to death. They're going to be a part of it. Um, Shalandra's going to be a part of it. And more to come. So, hey, right now, I'm just going ahead and tell you guys everything. Before I even say, check back next week. Um, but yeah, check back next week for more details. And this meeting grid is going to be freaking awesome. That's really good. It's really good, but it's got like a little twang to it, honey. A little twang. Um, what else is going on? Oh, yeah. WWE merged with um, UFC, with TKO. So, now Vince McMahon and Triple H, Nick Khan. Um, he's the president of WWE, if you um, didn't know that Nick Khan is um, the president. Triple H is still over creative. Uh, Vince McMahon is supposed to be acting chairman of the board. Or well, chairman... For the WWE. Then you have Dana White. And you have Endeavor. And all that kind of you know. Uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, like presidents. And stuff like that. So. It's looking like she's going to be shaping up to be a good company. For both brands. Then they're going to have a UFC. And a WWE night. Well a weekend. Like Raw, um, Smackdown will be on Friday nights. Saturday will be a UFC. Sunday will be a WWE event. So that's going to be really good. Um, but yeah. And then Hulu's. Uh, I don't know if Hulu's going to be getting their streaming service. Um, streaming rights to WWE or not. Because they expire next Monday or Tuesday. So. I hope it goes to Peacock. Because if it goes to Peacock, then hopefully we can get Monday Night Raw, um, NXT, SmackDown, um, you know, the next day, the full episode instead of like 90 minutes of it. Because I hate when they do that shit. But yeah, so hopefully for that. And um, also Raw and NXT doesn't have a home yet. They only verified um, SmackDown was coming to the United States. United States, the USA Network, in October of 2024. So, can't wait for that. They signed a five-year agreement today. So, a lot of big things were happening in the WWE, UFC, and Endeavor all together. So, we got some questions. Okay. Hey, honeys, what are you going to be for Halloween? Girl, I don't know what I'm going to be for Halloween. Shit, we still got another month to go, another month and a half. Um, I want to be Dorothy, but everybody says that's like too bland. Like I should be something like more, you know, more out there, more like, mm, work it. So I don't know what I'm going to be. I'm going to probably have to go to uh spirit Halloween or um, Halloween spirit, something like that. Or, um, 
What else was I having on? Oh, online. I was going to go to Amazon to see what else they got. Because every time I go into um, Party City, they never have my damn size. And I hate that shit. So, it's either Amazon or Spirit Halloween. And I better get it for a damn October. Because if I wait, my size is going to go. So, I don't know what I'm going to be. It's up in the thin air. That thin air better come just break on and tell me what I'm going to be. <clears throat> Number two, do you like to take hot baths? Oh, my God. I love it. But I mostly take showers, though. But I do love a good hot bath. And just, you know, just, oh, the feeling of just soaking. And, you know, it's kind of like the healing process from a day's worth of work or a day worth of, you know, of your problems and you just sit there in the hot steaming bathroom in the bathtub and you're like, Oh, this is what I needed the most. So I'm kind of like that. I love a hot bath. Number three, are you ready for fall weather? Hell yeah, honey, bring on the fall because ah, this summer has beat my butt. Trust me. I hate the hot heat, especially you guys know if you guys watch that TikTok video of me and uh, Vanessa, good Lord. And it's funny, it's funny how I get so many compliments on that video. I freaking love it. And we just like thought of it in less than a minute and it went like 80 million follow, 80 million viewers. I was like, whoa. But yeah, it was so cool. And yeah, I can't wait to do another one with her. She is so amazing. And damn, I just dropped my paper. Shit. What was the other questions? I don't even know. Hold on. Let me bend down. Oh. Well, I lost the damn page. I lost. All right. Let's see. Here we go. Didn't lo I didn't lose much. Um, what are the best ways to look on the bright side of life when you're sad? All right. One of the best ways to look on the bright side is that you're still here with us. That you have people that love you. That you have people that want you to succeed in life. That is what. That is what the bright side is. You know. We can say that we don't have people that love us. We can say that we have people that don't care about us. But at the end of the day. One person does care about you. And they love you. No matter what. And they would be. A, you know. They would be sad if you left. So, always remember, your loved ones love you the most. And if your loved ones don't, they need to start. Because, guess what? Love always wins. And, I, and you know, it's sad to see so many people go through depression, anxiety, um, you know, feeling sad, feeling lonely. Whereas, people shouldn't feel that way. We should all feel loved and accepted and embraced. But, embraced with positivity and happiness for each other. Um, but yeah, remember, love always wins at the end. Yeah. And number five, if someone gave you the moon, would you want him even more? Girl, I don't care if he gave me the moon, the stars, the sun. Hell, hell, he better hold up his other end of the bargain. Let's just say that. He can promise me all this shit. But at the end, uh, but at the end of the day, I better see it. I better see the moon. I better see the stars. I better see the clouds. I better see everything because I'm going to be jet flying. I'm going to be flying high. Okay? I'm going to be flying high. I don't care if it's a kite. I don't care if it's an air balloon. But hell, most likely it's going to be an airplane though. So I don't really care. But he, yeah, he better hold up his other end of the bargain if he wants moi. Because moi don't play around. And moi tells you real quick. Mm. I think I might need to call Cat Knees and tell them real quick about this tea. Ooh. But yeah, honeys. Also, also, we got this. So you guys know I'm a 4K collector. And I, I watched this movie growing up so much. I remember my mom and my dad, we used to sit and watch this on VH1, CMT. Um, it is Chevy Chase, National Lampoon's Vacation. I got it on 4K at Best Buy uh, the other day. 
Let me just say, this video quality is the best I've ever seen this video. Ever, you know, this quality is the best I've ever seen this movie. That's what I was trying to say. And look at the artwork and stuff. How, like, flashy and stuff it is. Um, but, yeah, Chevy Chase does a great part in this. And who doesn't love a good family comedy? You know, I remember watching it when they censored it. And <laughs> let's just say this one's not censored. You can watch everything in this one. And it's what? Like two, it's an hour and 32 minutes. A 37 minute movie. And it's great. I loved it. And um, when they um, put Edna on top of the car. I think that was her name. When they put Edna on top of the car after uh, she um, supposedly passed away. It, that was sad. Um... But yeah, this movie has so many great parts. And when um, Chevy Chase tried to fight for the family to go to the theme park, and <laughs> I, I laughed so much, especially the cop. And um, but yeah, this is a great movie. Pick it up if you guys have never seen Chevy Chase National Lampoon's Vacation. Go watch it. It's an '80s classic, and I promise you, you guys will love it. And this is the best quality. So, if you guys want to go see a good quality movie, get a 4K. Because, I promise you, the quality is so much better. And The Exorcist just came out. When I went the other day to pick it up, it wasn't there. So, I'm going tomorrow to pick it up. And hopefully, they'll have it. Because if not, I'm going to be mad. Just kidding. But, yeah, I want to see it in 4K. The Exorcist will always play a part in my life because I love horror. I love horror movies. And that's like my, like, I don't want to say number one horror film, but it's on up there, though. So, honeys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment. What's your favorite scary movie? Leave a comment in the description box below. Don't forget to like this video. Share it with all your loved ones. And subscribe to the channel. Plus, I'm also on Patreon and Cameo. So, if you guys want to shout out, it's great for birthdays, anniversaries, cheering people up, I'm your bitch. So, go ahead and click the Cameo description. The Cameo link in the description box below. And, also, I'm on Patreon. I do exclusive videos, like, every week. So, go ahead and check me out on there as well. Love you, honeys. Keep staying you. Stay beautiful and stay strong. Mwah. Bye, honeys.